Fire. Machines. Hot ladies. The Yu-Gi-Oh meta has been brought to the absolute depths of destruction. Skyrocketing card prices, with decks costing more than a month of rent. Stun decks ravaging every corner of the game's space. And no end in sight. Who, if anyone, can save us? The Neospacing archetype is considered to be one of Yu-Gi-Oh's worst decks of all time. From the lack of main deck synergy, terrible spells and traps, and oddly designed boss monsters, Neos is by far one of the most challenging, frustrating, and inconsistent decks imaginable. But god dang do we love it. Ever since the reveal in the second season of the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX anime, I have been smitten with these weird, weak, and overall lackluster monsters. I just can't get Neos out of my brain. After years and years of waiting for support to launch Neos into competitive status, there is no more waiting. I am taking Neos into my own hands and challenging myself to take one of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s worst decks to the very peaks of competitive play. This is Neos to the top. Returning from Neospace, the one and only, elemental hero, Neos. Last we left off, the Neospacian deck had yet to reach its final form. What was thought to be the end of an era for Neos has since been given new life in the form of some sweet new cards. These new tools are extremely powerful and give a much needed power boost to not only the deck's sister strategy, Hero, but more importantly, fuses elements of Jaden's favorite cards to bring it all together. Like our previous jumps into Neospace, let's categorize the new support into a few different categories. But unlike the previous rankings, the new support cards for Neos don't really have any bad cards per se. To be honest, and I think at the very worst, the worst cards from this pool are just okay. I would say that for these, there's actually more of a gradient from bad to good where most of these cards would lie. So with that in mind, Let's dive into the new Neos. Let's start with cards on the lower end of the spectrum. We have Overfusion, definitely the best um, artwork in the uh, new Neos arsenal. Um, uh, anyways, this card is a quick play spell card that reads, target one face up monster on the field, reveal one elemental hero, Neospatian, or level 10 monster from your hand, deck or extra deck, and the target monster's name can be treated as the revealed monsters if used for a fusion material this turn. I like its concept, making things like contact fusion a little easier to do, but overall, I'm not really sure that overfusion is really going to do it for the Neos archetype, but it's not completely useless and we've definitely seen worse. Next we have N Wave, or EN Wave, a continuous spell card that reads, if your elemental hero monster is used as material for a fusion summon and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can special summon one Neospatian monster or one elemental hero Neos from your deck. If a Neospatian monster or elemental hero Neos you control or in your graveyard is shuffled into your deck or extra deck, you can special summon one elemental hero monster from your graveyard. This has a little more utility. It allows you to gain value whenever your cards are shuffled back, which has always been kind of a detriment in the Neospatian archetype in the first place. However, I think that's also just a little bit too conflicting. An in-archetype monster reborn can sometimes be cool, but a conditional one is not that great. Next two cards are actually newer fusion monsters that have been added to the arsenal of ongoing boss monsters for the Neos archetype. The first is Armed Neos, which is a wind level 10 warrior fusion effect monster with 3,500 attack and 3,000 defense. This card requires elements of hero Neos and one armed dragon monster. This card says must be fusion summoned. If this card is special summoned, you can choose one dragon monster from your graveyard and destroy all monsters your opponent controls with an equal or lower level than it. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can make this card gain the following effect. During the main phase, quick effect, you can tribute this card 
Special summon one elemental hero fusion monster from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. This card is very similar to something like elemental hero grand merge. And while I do think that this card is very strong, I do think that it might be just a little bit underpowered compared to the other newer Neos cards we've gotten. Speaking of that, let's talk about elemental hero Neos Kluger. Neos Kluger is a light level nine spellcaster fusion effect monster with 3000 attack and 2500 defense. This card requires one Elemental Hero Neos and one Ubel. This card must be fusion summoned. Before damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to that opponent's monster's attack. If this face-up card is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect, while in its owner's control, you can special summon one Neos Wiseman from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. This card is surprisingly good. Do not get me wrong, this card is very situational, and the deck that you have to build around this card is pretty limiting, including cards like Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Relatively weak game plan overall, but can also be really strong depending on what your opponent is playing. Add on top of the fact that you can search out the materials for this card makes it a little bit more consistent to get out than you would think. And that rounds off what I would call the just okay cards out of the new set of Neo support. The cards overall aren't that bad, but maybe just a little bit underpowered compared to the next cards we're gonna talk about. Let's take a little bit of a detour from the fusion monsters and talk about Cross Keeper. Now, while Cross Keeper isn't directly a Neo Spacian or Hero card, this card plays very well with both archetypes. Cross Keeper is a dark level two warrior effect monster with 400 attack, 400 defense. That reads, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Special summon one elemental hero monster or Neo Spacian monster from your hand or graveyard, but negate its effects if summoned from the graveyard. If you special summon a elemental hero fusion monster while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, draw two cards, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. This card is crazy. At the very worst, if you have Neos Fusion and you need to go into something like Brave Neos, this card effectively draws you to similar to something like Liquid Soldier. But oftentimes you are pairing this card with something like Liquid Soldier and Elemental Hero Sunrise to draw four cards plus the Miracle Fusion in one turn. Meaning that you get to cycle through your deck search for hand traps or other counters to your opponent's strategy, and for that reason alone, it brings it into the really strong category of the new Neo support. But it is also an extender and a starter to bait out interruptions with things like Stratos and Shadow Mist being able to be summoned off of its first effect. Next, and one of my favorite cards inside of the new arsenal, we have Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos. Spirit of Neos is a light level seven warrior effect monster with 2,500 attack and 2,000 defense. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. And if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle, which is huge. If this card is special summoned, you can add from your deck to your hand one polymerization or one spell trap that mentions an elemental hero monster's name on the card. During your main phase, you can shuffle this card into the deck. And if you do, special summon one elemental hero normal monster from your deck. Now, while the truly cultured among us might be thinking to yourself, of course, I can add Feather Storm and then summon out Elemental Hero Avion for a one turn negation. And while I and many others would applaud you for being based and cool, this card's main two functions are to protect you, but also to add consistency and weaving it into your combos to establish a strong end board. So whether you are searching it to protect yourself, kind of like Honest Neos, or to extend your plays a little further, Spirit of Neos, is the GOAT. Next, let's dive into some powerful spell cards for the new Neo strategy. First, we have N Shuffle. This is a normal spell card that reads, shuffle one elemental hero or Neo Spacian monster you control into the deck. And if you do, special summon one elemental hero or Neo Spacian monster with a different name from your deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard, shuffle from your graveyard into the deck either one elemental hero monster and a Neo Spacian, or one Emerald Hero Neos, then draw one card. An infinite impermanence or an Ash Blossom on your initial summon can be quite detrimental, but End Shuffle can allow your plays to go on further and gain you much more value with stuff like Spirit of Neos. Speaking of gaining value and cards with really cool artwork, we have N Engage Neospace a normal spell card, which reads, send one Neospacian monster and one Elemental Hero monster, one from your hand and one from your deck, to the graveyard. Then special summon one Neospacian monster or one level five or higher Elemental Hero monster from your deck. 
and if you do, add one polymerization from your deck or graveyard to your hand. The secondary effect adds a thousand attack to Neos, and I'm gonna skip over that part because it's you know, not really that important. But the big thing is that you are locked into fusion monsters the turn that you activate this card. So while that seems like a really big restriction, honestly, there's often times where you don't even really need to go into your link monsters. This card is so powerful in conjunction with things like Elemental Hero Spirit of Neos that allows you to turn one, actually just ignore the fusion requirement altogether, and then in turn two, well, the Neo Spacian and Hero Archetypes have no problem OTKing with just their small fusion monsters. Speaking of fusion monsters, it is the time that we've all been waiting for. Let's talk about Elemental Hero, Shining Neos Wingman. And yes, you have to say it like that every single time. This card is a light level eight warrior fusion effect monster that requires Elemental Hero Neos and one Wingman fusion monster. This card must be special summoned. This card gains 300 attack for every monster in your graveyard. Also, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Big body, big protection. If this card is special summoned, you can destroy cards on your opponent's field up to the number of different attributes among the monsters on the field. In addition, if you destroy monsters by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. Really bringing back home Wingman's original superpower. Not only is its attack boosting plus destruction protection really, really strong, the fact that it's also removal and extremely consistent means that this boss monster has the flexibility of going first and going second. Now, I will say that before the next card we're going to talk about, this card was really good, but kind of hard to get out. In fact, you oftentimes were losing value just to try to really cram this card in there. But now we have one card that brings it all together, and it's Jaden's favorite monster. Everybody say hello to Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, Infernal Rage. This card is a wind level eight warrior fusion effect monster with 2100 attack and 1200 defense. It requires two Elemental Hero monsters of different attributes, which as we know is extremely difficult for the Elemental Heroes. This card must be fusion summoned, if this card is special summoned, you can add one card with favorite in its name from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You can tribute this card that was fusion summoned with a normal monster as material, and special summon one level seven or lower elemental hero monster from your deck or extra deck that cannot be normal summoned or set, ignoring its summoning conditions. This card, by no exaggeration, saved not only the hero archetype, but also the Neos archetype. Jaden's original favorite monster brings the whole deck together, combining a first turn consistency, allowing you to bring out cards like Elemental Hero Shining Neos Wingman. With this card enabled with the searching of a favorite card, along with special summoning out things like Elemental Hero Sunrise, is an insane advantage engine. And with the almost complete overhaul of the Neospatian deck, Harmony has finally been brought to Neo space. And with the insane power boost to the Neo stack, there's really only one thing to do. All right, everyone. Tonight we are back once again with Neos to the top. We are starting from the absolute bottom once again. If the game will connect, then we'll be will be big chillin'. Season 26, I can't even remember when we started this necessarily. However, we have, we have, we have regressed all the way back, all the way back to the lowest rank we could possibly be. This was still our goal. Diamond five is like our main goal, but there's been a development. We have five new ranks to conquer. <laughs> ah! Master five might be possible might be. The last time we played on this account was with the new Neo support. But there's been a development even more powerful, arguably the most important card for the Neos deck period just got launched in Master Duel. We now have a deck we can build towards and we and we only need one card to really do it. Let's go ahead and hop into the deck builder and build what I would be believing to be the best Neos deck possible right now. So this one will be Neos to the top 3.0 because we need it to be. First things first, we're gonna start off with one copy of the man, the myth, the legend, 
Elemental Hero, Honest, Neos. Then we'll round up the deck. Then we have Aqua Dolphin, or Aqua Neos, Rand Neos, and I'm missing one more card. What am I missing? Oh, no, I got Rainbow Neos. Wait, what, what am I missing? Blink, blink, blink. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh God. I How could I even forget? Element, wait, element, oh God. I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna put Infernal Rage. <laughs> the new, Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, Infernal Rage. This is probably the number one piece of support that ties it all together. I'm not even joking you, in our testing and also with me playing on the side, this thing just adds so much to the hero archetype and to the Neos archetype. It, it's crazy what they did to just bring it all back together. Bring it on home, baby. All right. This is our Neos deck that we're we'll rocking with to build Neos to the top. We're missing still the most important piece that brings it on home. All right, the most important thing that we have to do outside of getting Ash Blossom for the feet is pulling for Neos. We have to get Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, Infernal Rage within two tries. We absolutely have to, right? Let's get it. You're crazy for Maxia too? I think it's fine, honestly. Especially in a deck like this, that's like where we had something to cut out. I think, I think we'll be okay. First try. Charles. Just before. But yeah. I Again, we pulled like nothing good here. All right. Second try. We only got one UR. I actually would have rather we didn't get the UR now, but that's okay. That's all right. That's right. We'll go again. We go again. Okay, less promising than the last one. Less promising, for sure, for sure. I, it's a, I, whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Konami just hates us. All right, last pack. Can we pull a hollow? Apparently, too. Okay, never mind. Konami loves us. Konami loves us. Emperor Charles and... Oh. I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's good. I guess. <laughs> I guess, okay, whatever. Womp womp, yeah, that's fine. I accounted for this. I knew we weren't gonna get it. And that's why I saved up enough UR points to just generate. All right. Oh, raw slifer. Um, I actually really don't know which God to pray to here for this Royal Rare. I don't ask you for much. I really don't. I'm just asking for one Royal Rare Infernal Rage. One time for the one time. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, okay. Well, that was uneventful. Anyways, this is the Neos to the top 3.0 deck. Uh, it's it's about what it looks like. It's a Neos deck, actually. Surprisingly so. We're playing the Neospatian cards of Aqua Dolphin, Grand Mole, and Dark Panther. We're playing some hero cards, the good ones, Stratos, Vion, Shadow Mist, Liquid Soldier. And we're also playing Neos, Spirit, Honest, and the OG. And of course, in our extra deck, we're rocking up with Shining, Neos, Wingman, and... Infernal Rage, the new Flame Wingman card that brings it all on home, baby. It is, this is amazing. This is this is an incredible deck. I cannot wait to see what it does. And I know that I'm, I know I'm honestly like hyping this deck up a little bit because we're just in rookie and we're gonna be fine. But I'm excited. I'm excited to do it. Uh, goal for tonight is gold. Maybe maybe out of gold. That'd be great. I'd be I'd be really happy. But if we can't do that. And oh well, we'll just have to be back the next time, baby. With our deck complete and our hearts full, we finally embarked on our journey into Master Duel's lowest rank, Rookie 2. And though we initially faced off against beginner decks, 
we also hit some actual strategies. You just got rid of a potential player. No! No, this is really cool. This is the cool way of doing that. Okay, hopefully he said to himself, that wasn't that bad. I can definitely win the next time. Rookie one, yeah! <laughs> With 11 cards in the extra deck. See, they, they got something. And we drew poorly. We drew, wow, this is this hand really sucks. Oh, we actually could lose this one. And he's got the full combo. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Don't summon anything! No! No! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh. No, dude. No! I bullied a kid, and now I'm the kid getting bullied. This guy's probably sitting here like, oh, he decided to play his favorite deck. Oh, heroes, that's so cute. Anyways, Moye summoned token at my girl's funeral. With uh, adding Chi Chow to my deck to my hand. It's a long one, not Chi Chow. Okay, this draw can save me. This draw could have saved me, but now now we can't. Oh my god. It's. We're in rookie! The rewards thing? I think that's actually very possible, right? Um. Labyrinth. Why am I. And y'all said I didn't need hand traps. I'm running into actual decks inside of this format. This is wild. I actually don't know. We do have like a pretty decent hand. Even if they pop something, we have a lot of different ways around this board. We got it. We're, we're so that this was a sign from God. Um, okay, we're gonna send to the graveyard Shadow Mist. Um, Shadow Mist from I will add from our deck to our hand a card. I want to add a uh, Liquid Soldier. I think Liquid Soldier is the way here, right? Uh, banish the Shadow Mist. I can give him like one or two draws, uh, or I can, just, I can try to OTK him, but I know for a fact that he's gonna be able to draw Labyrinth and Ku Klok because it's for some reason they decided to do this. Let's Polly. I'm, I'm down to give him like a couple of cards here. I'm down to give him like a couple of cards here, right? We'll go for Flame Wingman. I I'm down to give him like two cards. We'll go for Liquid Soldier. I'll go for Infernal Rage. I'm pretty sure we can OTK if and only if I can get to Neo's Fusion before anything bad happens. Because then I can either one, shuffle back his graveyard, which I think is probably pretty good. Ash Blossom. I'm having to use my brain way too early in this challenge tonight. I'm gonna end shuffle. I think I have to end shuffle here. I have to end shuffle into Stratos. And Stratos pop the backer to trigger it early. Yeah, I do. Yeah, because I gotta go Stratos. I gotta destroy spells and trap cards on the field. I have, to, I have to get the back row early. So he has to target it now. There's no more BS here. He's just gonna die. Are we still in Rookie? I'm sane, dog. You're telling me, dude. <laughs> Please destroy the Spirit of Neos in hand. Nope, it's a Stratos, awesome. Okay, thank God. We're gonna return to deck Spirit of Neos and the Grand Mole, because we have to. Triple attack, oh, perfect. Perfect. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one card back, shuffle it, that way we can force out the Chandelier. Yes, Storby. Yes, absolutely. Okay, we'll go for engage Neo space here. And then we'll summon out Spirit of Neos from the deck. Go Spirit of Neos effect, we'll add the poly from our deck to our hand. I feel like that's fine still here. We'll go for Spirit of Neos effect. And we will add from our deck to our hand, Neos fusion. I think I'm gonna go for polymerization here. Sunrise on the board, big body. Activate the effect of Sunrise. We'll go and banish the Liquid Soldier and the Spirit of Neos. On the board. Finally, Neos Fusion. And we'll summon Rainbow Neos. 
Give him an extra card. This is very dangerous here, I'm not gonna lie. So we want to shuffle the entire graveyard. We're gonna go battle phase, and we're gonna go Rainbow Neos over the big one. Of course. We're gonna go this. We're gonna activate the effect of Sunrise. Sunrise, we're gonna clear the board. A bing. And we're gonna go Sunrise in. No way you have something here. No way! Main phase two. Effect of Rainbow Neos, we're going to shuffle all cards from our opponent's grave into the deck. Crosskeeper down, a little bit too late, but that's kind of okay. Ooh, interesting. Nice trap card, nerd. We end phase here with Rainbow Neos, zero and Sunrise. I don't think this is gonna be enough, but it's a good starting point at least. His hand has gotta be something good, right? End phase! Let's go! With Dark Panther, Leah! All right, battle phase. Rainbow Neos! Let's go! Looks like someone's not getting into bronze. That's right. Bronze! <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. After utilizing 100% of our brain capacity, we caught a nice streak of wins against some fan favorite archetypes. I'm gonna go with battle phase here. I'm gonna go with grand mole, non-targeting, spot removal, bounce both back to hand, we'll go with grand neos. Sunrise. And then finally, Elemental Hero. Neos Wingman. On the board. We even faced off against the King of Games himself, Yami Yugi, and his powerful Dark Magicians. Dark Magician. and destroy everything. We'll be replaying our attack directly to the face. And then 27 for a game. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, this is going well and we ranked up into silver. Thank God. I was a little bit worried. Fitting into the general theme of the night, with each win streak came an unfortunate encounter with losses that prolonged our climb to the top. One time for the one time, please. Now, okay, now it's officially over. Wait, hold. Wait, he, he can just attack, what am I, what am I doing? That actually got that got me to really like Brave Neos. Before that, I wasn't that big of a fan. Whoa! Oh! Oh God! Whoa! It's life for the freaking Sky Dragon. Maybe he doesn't realize that he can activate. Okay, he can. Maybe Neos still sucks. Maybe Neos is still bad. <laughs> no, I'm just bad. We could have won that game much earlier if I'm just not a bozo trying to swag. All right, no more swag. Zero swag. And just as we encountered a lost streak after a win streak, here was another win streak after our lost streak. Truly the pendulum swinging both ways. And in this case, literally. like. Oh, scroll Joker. Okay, we're fine. Uh, end summon. All right. I am. I, I'm codeless here, but also Nibiru. Bra, attack me, dude. Time pendulum graph. Oh my god. 
Oh! Okay, we're in there. We finally got in there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Okay, we are sorely, sorely in there, and we have to make an, a decision. I think I have to go for engage Neo space. I think I'll go battle phase here. Attack? Okay, I'm I good, 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 it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. Okay, thank God. That's awesome. Send of the grave that uh send of the graveyard, the aqua dolphin, um, special summon out from the deck, spirit of Neos. Amazing. Add polymerization protect to her hand. This is great. I love it. I'm active the fact of spirit of Neos. End shuffle, we'll shuffle back Spirit of Neo. Spirit of Neos will grab Stratos. Good old Stratos. Stratos effect activate. Add a hero monster from our deck to our hand. We're gonna add the Vion. Um, Vion effect will activate here. Gonna activate the effect of Vision Hero Vion. Gonna send to the graveyard Shadow Mist. I have to choose Sunrise for you. I have to go for Polymerization now on these two, then we will go ahead and Miracle Fusion for the one and the only Elemental Hero, Shining Flare Wingman. And I can destroy three, two cards in the field. I'll destroy Nibiru and the Time Pendulum Graph. Goodbye. Then, I'll activate the effect of N Shuffle here. Okay, now we are in a much better position. This card can't be destroyed, and he's out of a lot of options, so feeling a little bit better about my choices today. One Pendulum Monster in the field. No, wait a minute, wait. This is so funny, I can just do it again. <laughs> oh no, I could do it twice. <clears throat> he he is absolutely unaware. This is this is really really funny, and I did not even intend to do this. A second Neos Wingman, and I get to activate Neos Wingman's effect again, targeting Black Fang, targeting the other Pendulum guy. Oh no! And then we'll set a card and end our turn. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, thank God. We almost lost that. Post toss format, heroes were unironically like a good strategy. They were just one of the best decks to play, period. For game. One punch to bring out Sunrise. Sunrise effect. Go for Miracle Fusion. Then we'll win. Let's go! And close to after four hours of climbing, we were back to where we had covered ground before with Neos to the top. One last game to get into gold with the new Neos cards. Okay, so here's the really funny part. You guys wanna see this? I can actually rip anything out by discarding this Nibiru and I think I want to. So first, I'm gonna go for Aqua Dolphin, see if I can bait anything. Nada, okay, that's kind of fine. Um, I'll go for Aqua Dolphin here. Maybe I can rip out like a rando hand trap. We'll discard this Nibiru. I can't. Okay, we know what it is though. It's kind of just random bullshit. Okay. All right, we've had our fun here. Destroy the Infernal Divisor. That's fine. Okay, let's clean this up. I'll go for Engage Neo Space. I'll send the Grand Mole. Send Shadow Mist. Activate Shadow Mist. Activate Spirit of Neos. End the shuffle here. I'll send Spirit of Neos away. And I'll summon out Stratos. Stratus effects will activate here. I'll destroy spells and traps on the field equal to the number of hero monsters. Meaning I'll destroy two. 
Goodbye. He's going to choose the Brave Neos. He's not going to know why he can't destroy it. And we're going to be big chilling. Absolutely. How did I know? Polymerization will fuse together for Elemental Hero, uh, Flame, Wingman, Infernal Rage. Make it for Elemental Hero on the board. And finally, Miracle Fusion for the one, the only, and for the last time tonight, Flame. Wingman! Oh god, no, I messed it up. Shining Flare! Neos! Ah! Whatever. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Battle phase. Five to the dome. And Brave Neos to close it out. Oh, thank god. Thank god we did it. We are back once again to gold. Imagine if you had Gorus, I would not doubt it. These gold player, or these silver players are goofy. You're back once again in gold for, oh God. And, and again, really interesting because the last time that we were here, very similar situation, we're just a little bit extra of support and you can really push this deck to its limits. Um, a lot of the games that we lost tonight were because of my own doing. So we're going to have to play pitch perfect from now on. I do think it's very possible to get into something like platinum diamond. Oh, a little bit longer, but that's okay. This deck is, I believe in it. I, I, it's really good. I believe in it. We're going to have to fine tune it a lot more as we're getting to the higher ranks, play different hand traps. We're going to have to play different, uh, spot removals and in gold, especially this early in the season, there's gonna be a lot of players that are actually playing real decks, not just Dark Magician, Blue Eyes Turbo. But then I say that, and then last last night we were playing all in gold anyways, and just got Dark Magician and Blue Eyes Turbo. So you know what? No, maybe, maybe we're fine still. I don't know. <laughs> this is the Neos list. I'm very proud of it. I think it's very solid. And we're just gonna go from there. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.